Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. How is everybody doing? Today in Code.org, we're going to be exploring how to make a rainbow. So first, we need to make the character stand in the middle, which is 200x and 200y. So we'll just use this block, jump to 200 over 200 down and it will be in the middle next we need to use we need to make the first arch which is the red one over here and after that we need to make all the other arches plus this white part so let's begin since we're going to make the red arch we need to set color to red And this is the block that's meant for that. After that, we're going to use a for loop. This for loop is going to make it so that it can make an arch. From 360 to 180, count by 1. This is going to help it because it's going to draw lines until it eventually stacks up to an arch. Let me show you how it works. Keep in mind that this is the fastest speed, so we'll just use the preview to see if everything works. Next, after that, we're going to set color to orange. And yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple. Those are the colors I choose. You can choose whatever color you want for your rainbow. But I choose these colors, so this is my rainbow. For all of these code, you don't have to write it out. You can just copy and paste it. Let me show you how to do it. You can't copy a whole chunk of code at once unless it's in a loop. So we'll just use a repeat loop and put the for loop or the set color and the for loop into it. And we can click on the repeat loop, copy it, paste it. Here it comes and then drag the stuff that we copied and pasted out of the repeat loop and delete the repeat loop. Hopefully this is not too complicated as this is the simplest method that I've found to copy and paste it. So now that we have all of these copied and pasted snippets of code, we can move on. You might be wondering why you can only see the last color and I have the answer for you. Well, over here, there is a move forward by 160 pixels. There is a point to I degrees. The I is the counter. And each time it decreases by one so that it makes an arch. There's a block that's moved forward by whatever amount of pixels you put there. In my case, it's 160. And when you copy and paste it, it's it's the same, except that I already edited it over here, so it's not over here. Since it's the same, we need to edit it so that it's different each time. The first one is going to be the biggest, and the last one is going to be the smallest. I edited it so that it's in increments of 20. So that's 160, 140, 120, 100, etc. Now that we've edited it, you might be wondering why the, the arch, the rainbow, is arching into itself without a space on the bottom to make it like a true arch. Well, here's the solution. The last section... Look, this is what you might be seeing. There is no hole over here. So the last section that we're going to be making is basically the same as all of them, except that it has to fill up that space while leaving equal space for each of them. So since I have 160 and then counting down to 40, um, the last one is going to be 20 so that it fills it up 
and there's no space. I mean, there is a space, not no space. Over here, this is all the code. Let me just go over it one last time. Jump to 200 over 200 down. That's the center set color. That sets the color for the pen. For loop, it basically determines the arch. It basically helps in making the arch. It's going to start with jumping back to the center. Point to I degrees. I is the counter. And that shows how many degrees. It goes from 360 and then down to 270 then down to 180 so that adds an arch. It's going to point to I degrees and then move forward by 160 pixels and then jump back to the center so that so that um, it can continue. Once we finished we can see if it works over here or if you want you can run it. You don't need to run it because it's going to take a long time and if you're using the artist editor you can already see what is working and what is not. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please try it out by yourself in code.org and artist editor. If you like this video please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. This means a lot to me, and if you subscribe, the next level will be unlocked. And with each level being unlocked, there's gonna be a new thing, possibly a new prize, possibly a Minecraft celebration, or something like that. So please remember to subscribe if you like my videos. Thank you, bye.